salutations, respective viewers. This is George from Ireland. Once again, I'm talking about my least favorite person, Donald J. Trump, uh, who has turned uh, the Republican Party, a once proud party with certain core principles, into little more than uh, Trump's personal fan club. So Trump really is the turd in the teapot. Uh, even if you throw it out, that teapot will never be clean again. You've got to throw out the whole teapot. No matter how many times you wash it, you know, you can never trust it again. And that's the thing. And that's why I pray that uh, the Republican Party will get an absolute drubbing in the midterm elections. But I caution against optimism. And there's a lot of wishful thinking of those who uh, revile Donald Trump. And I've been a day one abominator of his. Um, because he has core supporters. There's no question about that. And they're the, the Fifth Avenue people who, no matter how absolutely incontrovertible the proof, even when Trump is the star witness against Trump, such as boasting about the sex crimes he committed, they will say, no, 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 they will simply close their minds, eyes and ears, and still vote for him. They put their faith in him and they don't have the courage to admit that they've been conned. Um, the Democrats traditionally have a problem with turnout, and particularly at the midterms. So presidential elections, more people turn out overall. But the opinion polls, they consistently underrate Republicans, do a few percentage points better than the opinion polls suggest because they're more likely to turn out. Their, their voters are on the whole older, wealthier, and um, Democrats are usually overrated by the opinion polls um, because people who say they're going to vote uh, Democrat, a minority of them don't, a small minority, but it's significant. That's why the Democrats perform a, a few percentage points worse than the polls suggest. The Young Turks saying, ah, oh, Democrats 12% ahead in the opinion polls for those for, for who people wish to see control Congress. Yes, that's true. I don't think it won't be as positive for the Democrats as 12% as ahead. I do think they win, will win, but not by much. So there's obviously absolutely no room for complacency on them. Trump could do something at the last minute. Remember, of course, he's not on the ballot paper. It's not a presidential election. There's elections, there are elections at the Senate, for a third of the senators. Everyone in the House of Representatives is up for election. A few state legislatures, there are a few gubernatorial races in various uh, states. Um, but uh, as I say, turnout is lower in the midterms than there is in presidential elections. And that may well impact the Democrats more heavily than it does on the Republicans. Trump could do something with regard to the Middle East with more tariffs and blah, blah, blah. Um, and that's that. He says that the, the Chinese are interfering um, against him. Now, I suppose that's partly to balance the accusations of interference in his favour two years ago. Um, but is, he's got a very uh, broad definition of interference. Yes, the Chinese have hit back with tariffs, as everybody said they were going to. They'd be stupid not to. If you're going to tax our uh, imports, we're going to tax your imports. Um, but they've very cleverly targeted them to particularly hit people and states who voted for Trump in large numbers. So they'll be feeling the pain. Um, hope the Chinese are hoping that I'll push these people to vote the other way, perhaps not vote at all. So that's what he means by interference. Now, I will admit there's, there's a certain logic to what he says, but it's not interference on the scale of bogus voting, um, voter suppression, or um, trying to uh, uh, cancel valid votes or anything like that, or um, false information or illegal campaign donations. There's nothing like on that scale. What they've done is entirely legal. It's questionable whether it's electoral interference overall. But anyway, uh, if you're listening, well, uh, please be a rational, kind-hearted person and vote Democrat.